Here we are going to the radio station. The radio station. fired us twice. Yeah, we've been fired from here twice, which is pretty funny. They keep hiring us back. Hope well, I've been fired. You were just sort of let, let go of this the first time. Yeah. I mean, you never showed up. <laughs> but it's H-E-B. Today's show is brought to you by a guy named Spike. Because he said so and he's right behind me. And now... We're listening to ourselves on CD through a window right now. That's the production studio. In case you wanted to know. Buckle your seatbelt and grab an air sit Funny stuff. Okay. Say anything about Italians, I'm gonna be pissed off. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'd be really upset if they said that about Italians. But it's about Mexicans, and we're not Mexicans. So it's all right. At least I don't think I am. Yeah. Well, here we are. This is the radio yeah. station. <laughs> so to say. That's Craig over there. Right? And now you know. That's Stan, and that's what really happened. He's listening on the CD player. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, you guys are in right. Today's show is brought to you Alpha by Lawyer. the Bay City Rollers. Yeah. Come on, admit it. You bought one of the albums. Fess up. And now, back to our... Who is this for? For home? Parents? No, this is for uh, Kids? Australia. Hello, Australia. <laughs> How is it out back? This is Greg over here. Greg's Why do gay. they call it oh, out back? <laughs> yeah, Greg is, Greg is Hola, gay. Hola, senora. Uh, in English, I like the taste. Really? <laughs> it sort of rolls off your He's tongue. Really in your tongue. He's not really gay. Buckle your seatbelt. I'm really not gay. What? Really? This place went on radio. Is that on? Yeah, yes, it's on. Another edition of I'm really not gay. Today, if I lean up against this, do I look like a lineup? You have Turn. Completed the construction of your new workshop. In oh, your look. Yes, indeed. Mario Liza was my lover. <laughs> You have no you get that idea how to use, but Take my vocal cords, tell me that you love me. <laughs> Here we have Tracy Chapman's latest, and uh, boy is Careful. Uh, she, uh, she looks pretty good, though. Tan, what's the uh, number here for this so, promo, well, number what, 9 a white door? The door? I'm not saying much, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do oh, Katie yeah. Lang. Could I just say one thing? I have a theory as to why men think of names for their penises. Yeah. It's basically... I want to know the name of the person that's making 90% of the decisions in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on right now, Pat? What are we doing? Trying to find sound effects. Trying to find a, a scabbard sound effect here? But I don't think we can. No, we're what? But, I looked at the whole British thing. Yeah, see, we're... These things suck. <laughs> British sound effects. Once in a while, there's something in there that we can use. Well, while he's looking for it, he's looking for a sword coming out of a scabbard. Um, the skit is... Sword play, swords with axes. Ooh, sword the swords. Fight. Maybe. Maybe it's a sword fight. Sword sharpening. Sword All right, here's fencing. the skit, as you can tell. It's uh, tonight on ABC. What happens if a prophet from the Old Testament gets accidentally zapped into the zany world of the 1960s? It's last color as we join Moses and let my people a go-go. And then at 8.30, an old warrior. You know, you can read it from there. We need... After uh, Conan the Octogenarian, of course, we're going to like pull out the scabbard. It's like, hey, who ain't made money? And you know, he pulls out the scabbard. Maybe sword sharpening that'd be a sing. Mm. You can try. Maybe. Let me look. You guys are awesome. I've never had a bigger pleasure knowing two just such comedic geniuses who are on the edge, bittered and twisted at the same time, but they realize that it's no good to be <laughs> bitter and twisted, because being bitter and twisted will just keep them where they are. So they, but 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 they don't cross that cutting edge. They, they, they define the cutting edge. They are more than the cutting edge. They are more than out on the limb. They are the twigs. They are the definition of losing that envelope. Hi, Tommy. How's the radio in Australia? Hey, I, I bet they rock and roll down there. Rock and roll, kick ass. Gary's ah! in, in kind of a... See, people cynical need love, and this is what happens when they don't get enough of it. Can you feel... <laughs> can you feel the love? There is love in this room, and there's love behind that cam, and there's love right there, and wrapped inside that we red love jacket. Jerry. Jerry's a nice guy. There's love in that file cabinet. There's love in this. There is love in this cart. There's love in there, man. It is. You gotta look for it. I know, and it's all sticky. Yeah. This is all sticky, and there's love in this splicing tape. Get him in action. Australian friend Tommy G, I'm editing together something, so you're doing you just did a segue. Oh, Australian dude? You just did a segue, man. I have to play some midnight oil. Hey mate. <laughs> so how do you like working at a at a big time radio station? Oh the biggest. I don't know yet. 
You don't know? Oh. So he works at a radio station out oh, in Australia. So. In Australia? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is he consulted by Pollock? <laughs> no, honestly. They... I don't know. Wow. They get killer. They get killer television commercials. You seen the television commercials? No. Australian no. television commercials. If it's the same radio station, it's incredible. It looks computer, like computer computer generated, massive, oh. three hundred thousand dollars worth of commercials. What's the name of the station down there? Uh, Triple M. I got a hat from them. Wow. Triple M. Wednesday. They're probably consulted by oh. Paul at Gaskin. No. Yeah. Same sta sister stations. We're sister stations. That's scary. Any gigs? I want a gig in Australia. <laughs> They're part of a, a morning, a comedy morning troupe. Really? It takes over the whole morning show. No nights. I can only do nights. You only do nights. Does this, is it get dark in Australia at night? Yeah. Cool. It's called a vampire. And, you and this, kind of and this is what what a normal studio looks like. He's playing with the buttons, and there's the board, and the mic, and the processing, and the playlist. phones, and We're there's not there's a playlist, and they have the computerized. Uh, so actually, that's just for the. Um, Oh, yeah. Oh, temperature's 43 degrees. Oh, geez, guess what? Accidentally, a Triple M hat showed up here. How'd that happen? In Portsmouth, man. In Portsmouth? Mighty. Well, how'd you get that? Glenn, Glenn came in here. Uh, remember when Glenn came back and on the Sunday before Monday and yeah. saw his office all rearranged? Brought, like, a Wayne's World hat, this. Army had wow. a couple hats, and me and Steeler were in That's like, scary. Yeah. like, who wants a hat? Wow. And I said, I'll take that. That's cool. That's the station in Australia. By coincidence, it's your coincidence? Buddy. It's the See, station. See, it is a Pollock station. That's where he got it. Okay. He got it at the Pollock convention. That's scary. Wow. So, so we both work for the same slave lord. It's a small world. <laughs> wow, that's heavy. That is scary, man. What's right. the PD, the corporate PD's name? He used to work in Boston. He's a good friend of Glenn's. That's he was in here. He was in here not too long ago. It's a small his name. world. That's weird. Ready? Yeah, Ian O'Malley? Maybe. Ian I don't know the name. Ian O'Malley. Is it Ian O'Malley? I, d I just know the Ian morning, Why morning didn't show just trick a little bit. Who's Ian O'Malley? I didn't know he had an upstairs. Well, I didn't think <laughs> I'd have one either. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of the tape.